Hey guys, welcome back to Explore Electronics. Let us see the solution for the second model question paper of DSDV subject. So the first question, what is combinational circuit? Design a combinational circuit with three input variables that will produce logic one output when more than one input variables are logic one. First write the definition for combinational circuit as it is a logic circuit whose output will be depend only on the current state of inputs. It will not depend on the previous inputs as well as previous outputs. So for the question they have given, we need to design the combinational circuit by taking three input variables A, B, C like this. And we need to write the output as one when out of these three, more than one input is one, we need to take it as one. So here you can see this is the output Y and for that, we need to generate the expression. So I am using it uh, KMAP method here. This KMAP method give us the expression. We need to implement it using basic gates. So this is the expression AC plus BC plus AB. I have implemented using R gate and AND gate. This is a simple question. Similar question will be asked in the exam by giving the description. Clearly understand the description and write the truth table first. Truth table is correct, the, uh, the rest of the answer will be easy. If you made a mistake in the truth table, it goes wrong. Ex uh, design a one bit comparator circuit. So one bit comparator block diagram is written here. This is very simple. Take A, B values, all the different combinations. For A less than B, A greater than B and A equal to B, uh, put into the truth table. And using KMAP or by looking at the expression itself, you can, you can easily write the expressions for all the three and realize it using basic gates. Implement a full ladder using PAL. PAL is programmable array logic. It means it will be having a combination of AND gates and R gates. So it is just an implementation of our full ladder uh, for the expression sum and carry using AND gates and R gates. But the thing is here we will be having A, B uh, input and input lines. So we need to mark where actually we are making a connection. This is very simple and this kind of question may be asked in the exam. Explain the working of master slave JK flip-flop with functional table and timing diagram. So here the diagram you can see this is JK flip-flop master and this is slave. This master will be operate with the positive edge of the clock and for the slave we have connected NOT gate. So the NOT gate will be uh, providing the reverse clock to the slave. So slave will operate with the negative edge. So master output will be taken as input to the slave and slave will behave after the half of the cycle to the master. So in the waveform, you can see clearly if the master output is going high, the slave output will be going high after some delay. So this delay caused because of the clock is reversed and JK inputs you can see here. These are the JK inputs here. It is mentioned as set and reset. Assume it as JK. When J is go high, the master output will be go high and at the uh, same time, slave will not go high. After the half cycle of delay, slave will be following the master. And here you need to also write the truth table for JK flip-flop. I have forgotten to write the uh, uh, truth table here. The functional table carries marks. Derive the characteristic equation for SR and D flip-flops. Here you can see this is SR flip-flop characteristic table. SR, Q and Q plus 1 is the next state. By using that, we can write the expression using KMAP. Similarly, we can do for D flip-flop like this. Make use of negative weights trigger T flip-flops to describe the working of 4-bit ripple, ripple counter. Also, draw the timing diagram. You can see here, T flip-flops are used and the clock will be connected with a bubble. So the output of T flip-flop will be given to the next T flip-flop as a clock and also we are taking it as a count output. So this is the ripple counter. Why it is called as ripple counter means we have connected the previous output to the input of the next one. And the T will be uh, equal to one over here. And you can see the uh, T flip-flop design also by using D flip-flop we have designed. And the timing diagram in the sense it is by taking the clock and then Q1, Q2, Q3, you need to write that is the count. Initially, it will be 0000, then it becomes 0001. Like that, you need to show for some clock cycles. 
make use of four bit shift register circuit to explain the following modes of operation siso sipo piso pipo siso is serial in serial out so you need to uh, write this block diagram simple block diagram and you need to say serially we are giving the input four bit values we can give to store over here and it will come out as we give the input in the same order it will come out similarly uh, serial in parallel out this is serial in parallel out after fourth cycle we can take out all the data present in the register four bit shift register and parallel in parallel out is that in one cycle itself we can store and in the next cycle we can read out and then parallel in uh, serial out is there so parallelly we can give the data to all the bits of the register and serially we can take out after four clock cycles this is about the shift register and then comes the working of explain the working of ring counter with the necessary diagram and equations this is the ring counter necessary uh, table and also the design you can see it is designed using d flip flop here preset clear are also given here you need to also write the expressions clearly here i have just given the table as well as the diagram write uh, some more details about the ring counter here and the ring counter is that you can see this uh, value uh, a four bit ring counter 1000 starting with and then it will just shifting its positions means this value will be keep on rotating and list all the data types available in verilog htl explain any three data types with examples here all the data types i have listed you can explain any three uh, and a simple explain uh, simple example also given over here you can refer to this explain three modeling styles available in verilog with half adder example so half adder is the question asked you need to write the truth table also remember even if they ask to write a verilog code write the truth table write the block diagram don't write the a gate level circuit and all but just write the block diagram of the half adder here and also the truth table for the half adder and you can see data flow modeling and gate level modeling and behavioral modeling code is given here and realize d latch with active high enable and also write the verilog program by considering delay time to the signal assignment statement with simulation waveform this is the d latch here the data uh, means that is d input that will be assigned to q when enable is equal to 1 this is a simple d latch here mm -hmm. I, we have designed and in the test bench you can see there is a delay given so the delay can be given in the test bench here to show how actually the signal assignment delay can be given and correspondingly if you write the waveform with respect to this it will be sufficient for 8 marks write a verilog data flow model for full ladder so for the full ladder you need to write the verilog code in data flow means again we need to use the assign statements write the truth table again get the expressions carry and sum better to uh, don't forget to write the expressions when they ask you to write data flow model verilog code why because the complete code will be depending on your expressions only this expression and this expression should be matched and also the variables you are using in truth table should be matched then write a behavioral description for 80 to 1 marks along with the design and timing diagram so this is the block diagram this is the truth table and this is the verilog code module multiplexer and inputs are these input select uh, three bit select lines are required here and output reg out uh, since it is a behavioral description code we need to write using always block and the case statement is used here so different values of case you can see and output will be equal to i0 i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 i6 i7 when the select lines are different uh, with respect to these select lines these outputs need to be selected and also your truth table and code should match over here explain different case statements available in verilog with syntax and necessary examples there are three different case statements in verilog case case x and case z so you can see the simple explanation here you need to explain this a little bit more and case statement syntax is given you can use this syntax for case x also so the syntax will be same you replace this case by case x and case uh, z and a simple example is taken over here only case statement is written not the complete code you can use the same example put case x case z and what actually the output of these you can write uh, that is sufficient for 6 marks for more explanation visit explore electronics plus youtube channel 
their in detail explanation for this case um, uh, case statement and the different types full adder half adder and all the other verilog codes are given over there explain syntax of the following sequential statements in verilog for loop while loop repeat loop here you can see for loop this is while loop and this is repeat loop better to give an example over here if they ask more than uh, 6 marks since it is asked for 6 marks the split up will be 2 plus 2 plus 2 this much is sufficient but a 2 to 3 lines of explanation is required how actually the for loop is used what is initialization what is the condition and what is begin end like that then write a structural description of 3 bit triple carry adder structural description means we need to use the single bit full adder to construct the ripple carry adder so full adder is used three times here this instantiation um, will be the structural description of ripple carry adder even for this also you need to write the block diagram and uh, three full adders you need to show while writing the ripple carry adder that is missing here you need to write that in your answer write a verilog code for 2 to 1 marks using if else statement here again the block diagram is missing you need to write the block diagram this is the simple truth table and if else statement we need to use means again go with the always block in the um, sensitivity list put all the inputs if s is equal to 0 y will be i not if s is equal to 1 means that is else part y is equal to i1 end module this is a very simple one and you may ask to write 4 to 1 8 to 1 marks also prepare for all those this is about the model question paper and few answers other answers will be discussed in the separate video thank you